Uh oh. No, we could come in. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Dita. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the collective haul to end all collective hauls, at least for the time being. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I recently was on vacation with my husband. We were in Vegas and in Germany, and it was an amazing vacation full of eating and shows and a lot of shopping. So while we were on vacation, my husband came up with a brilliant idea, and I say brilliant in quotes, but it's actually not a bad idea. He came up with a great idea where he challenged us not to shop for six months. And I was like, whoa, pump the brakes, brother. Six months, I'll give you three. So we agreed on three months with the option of extending it to six months, depending on how we were doing. He actually has a goal for himself to not shop for the entire year. I will believe that when I see it. But so three months, no shopping. And if we cheat, we do shop, then we owe the other person $200. So that has already worked well to curb some shopping. I've seen a couple of things already that I wanted and I've just added $200 to that, to the price point. By the by, I actually have already filmed this. I filmed this haul two or three days ago, but it was so rushed. The try on was crap and the video itself, the haul portion was so rushed. I didn't describe anything really. I think I was just trying to, because there's gonna be so much I need to get through, I think I was just going to try to just rush through things and get them up. But even before going back to review the video that I shot, I knew that it was I was not going to like it. So I just said, forget it, and I'm reshooting it. And so hopefully this works out a lot better. Back to what I was saying before, there have been a couple of things that I've seen already that I have not purchased because I've just added $200 to the price and thought that's nah, not worth it. So it's working well so far. We are only eight days into January, nine days, but uh, that's pretty good. So the way I'm going to, this is, I have a lot to share with you guys. So the, this video is going to be just the things that I purchased while in Germany. And then the rest of the videos are going to be shot in different parts. The cool thing about the haul from Germany, well, the cool thing to me is that I was able to go into stores that I'd heard about and that I'd seen people talk about, but that I'd never had an opportunity to visit myself because we don't have them here in the States. One of the stores was Primark, which I always see the UK YouTubers talking about. And then the other one was Mango, and I've actually ordered online from them before a couple of things and been very impressed. But I was delighted to see that they had a mango in the mall we visited. The third store I visited while there was Zara. That is what will be included in this video. You will notice that the try on portion of this haul is in our hallway. I think that I like it there. We will see, I've already shot the try on portion and as I'm putting the video together, we'll see how everything works out with the lighting and whatnot. But I think that I was better able to get a full body shot and it was at a better angle, but we will see. Please let me know what you think. Any hoodle, if you are interested in seeing what I got while in Germany, then stick around. So when people talk about how low the prices can be in Primark, they are not lying. They have this huge beauty section and they have this huge Harry Potter section. I don't know if all Primarks do, if that's a thing, but they had a huge beauty section. So I kind of went to that area first and got some random tidbits. The first thing I got was this two pack blender sponge and it was two euros. And I'd been wanting to, so I just started playing with makeup and I, have seen people talk about the beauty blender and other things related to that. And I think the, I think the beauty blender is something like 25 or 30 bucks, at least the thing that I was looking at. And I, it just seemed to me, it seemed like something spongy would soak up a lot of product. I see people apply foundation with this. It seems like it would soak up a lot of product. And so I couldn't see spending $25 on something that would eat up all of my product anyway. 
but a lot of people use it so I wanted to give it a try so I was excited to see these so I'm going to try makeup application with this I tend to use brushes but we'll see I thought that was a good price to experiment and then I wear glasses I'm wearing contacts now but I work I have the vision of a wombat I am so blind and <laughs> I love fashionable glasses. I've been wearing glasses since I was six years old. So anything to do with vision that's kind of cutesy or edgy, I like. I mean, there's no explanation for this though. I have no excuse for purchasing this. I was caught up in the moment, I think. But I got these two contact cases. I think they're both cats. Yeah, they're both cats. I mean, why? I change my contact cases once every three to six months, depending on how they're looking. And so I thought for one euro 50 each, it'd be fun to have cute little contact cases. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. So this is a mascara guard and I have never seen one before. This one was one euro 50 and I've never seen one before. And I assume that it's to put between your lashes and your lid while you're putting putting on your mascara to try to avoid getting mascara on the lid because I do without fail I get mascara on my lid so I thought this would, might be something to try to see if I could avoid that happening I think that's what it's for that's what it looks like it's for we'll see and the last thing I got from this section in Primark is something that I hope will help with some of the puffiness under my eyes, especially in the morning or even sometimes at night if I'm really tired. And it is this gel eye mask and I thought it was super cute with the unicorns on it. And I paid one euro fifty for those as well. So we'll see how it works. <laughs> I just thought that they were super cute. I am all about the tights lately. They have kept me so warm this winter. I had a look at the tight section at Primark and I got three pairs, which I didn't even mention in the previous video I shot. I mean, it was a disaster. Anyway, these ones are ultimate cover opaque tights and they are extra black. And I got these for four euro. There's nothing special about them. They're just tight, but I was just really tickled by the price. We'll see how they, we'll see how they hold up, but these are really, really thick and I know that they're going to keep me warm and they were four euros and I got mine in an extra large. Then I got these uber thick. I mean, I'm showing them to you, but you're not going to be able to tell, but they are so thick. And then can you see this? They're, they're called, they're calling them the plush velvet lining leggings. Velvet leggings. These were seven euro and I got mine in the large, extra large. And it's, I mean, this is, a, I wouldn't describe this as velvet. I would describe it as plush. I hope with my lighting that you can see, yeah, it's this really thick, soft plush material. I think this will keep me very warm and so I'm excited to try those and they are footless tights so yeah I'll keep you posted about those and then the last pair these feel much more like regular tights what are these oh these are boot tights I've never seen these before have you guys seen these before they're boot tights these were five euros and they are socked can you see that? Always with the technical difficulties, my computer shut off, or my calculator, what is this thing called? My camera shut off saying that I had no more memory left on my SD card, which can't seem right, but my jank computer won't even recognize my SD card right now. It won't even register that it's in there, so I couldn't check, so I just deleted things off using the camera. I can't even. I am so looking forward to just starting to use my new computer. I didn't last weekend because I didn't want to learn a new system, but I'm ready. I'm ready. Any hoodle, so that I don't run out of memory again. I think where I was was talking about the socks. See how they have, I mean these tights, see how they have feet on them? And they're kind of, they're thick. So they're going to be really comfortable in a boot so that you 
can wear tights but still have socks in your boots. I think that is really cool. So I'm excited to try those. Oopsie, there's one more accessory type thing from Primark and it's this bandana, which I thought was really pretty. Navy blue with different, um, with multicolored paisley on it. And I got that for two euros. So I thought this would be nice to wear around my neck or wear on a bag. So that's that. Okay, so finally on to clothing from Primark. The first thing is this really nice oversized cardigan with, I think this is called Fisherman's Cable down either side. I really like the way this hangs, hangs really nicely. That's quite oversized, just simple on the back. It's gonna be hard to do everything justice in front of the camera, but I did try everything on. But I really, really like this. It was 16 euros originally, and I got it for seven euros, which was crazy. And I just, yeah, I really like it. it. Okay guys, so here is the cardigan from Primark, and I really like it. I really like how oversized it is. I've just got the sleeve scrunched up. I just like this really relaxed feel. It's not itchy, it's really comfortable. It's not the softest thing that I've ever worn, but it's really nice. For seven euros, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. I also got these leggings. These, ooh, they look wrinkly, don't they? There are these vinyl or leather effect leggings and they're quite thin and so before I did the try on I was a little concerned that they were they, it almost feels like um a little thicker than maybe a balloon and I thought that th they might rip easily but when I tried them on I was very pleasantly surprised they were really comfortable they're higher waisted and I I mean I really like them and these were just eight euros. I really like these. This next piece is my favorite piece that I got from Primark and I'm just looking to make sure that I talked about everything from Primark, I think so. And it's this shirt. It's this long sleeve button up shirt with flower and polka dot detail. It is so pretty and it's got silver buttons where are they oops silver buttons down the front little silver buttons down the front it is so nice and this is really long it comes down to well past my bum so you could wear this out with leggings underneath or you could have this tucked into a nice pencil skirt whatever you wanted this shirt is really really nice i really like this and it was 13 euros i love it i really wish i could see what i was doing but i hope that all of me is in view this is the shirt from primark and i'm also wearing the leggings the leather effect or vinyl effect leggings from primark and I really like both of them. The leggings are really comfortable, way more comfortable than I thought they would be. They're high-waisted, and yeah, I actually really like them. And then this top, I love. I love the way it flows. I love how long and oversized it is. I've got the buttons undone at the top and some undone at the bottom, but I could see having it tucked into some jeans or into a really nice pe high-waisted pencil skirt. It's just a really great shirt. I'll come in a little closer so that you can see. I really like it, I have to say. I really love how this fits. Yes, Primark. The next store I wanna talk about is Mango. And like I said, I've purchased a couple things from Mango online prior to having visited the store. And I really like what I've purchased from them. So at the store, I picked up three items. The first of which is this leopard print spaghetti strap top, just a little camisole. Oh, it's catching. It's just a little camisole and there's the leopard print there, kind of a copper tone leopard print. I like it, it's just simple. Something that would be useful for layering in the fall and winter and just a nice piece to have in the warmer months. So I really like that. This was, and just because I have the tags on here, I'll just share the prices with you. I'll try to link everything below, but this was €6.99, so €7. Euros. 
which I thought was pretty inexpensive for a top as versatile as this. Versatile for me. Okay, so here is the tank top, and I'm kind of using my hair to disguise the fact that I am not wearing a strapless bra because I can't be bothered to change between <laughs> outfits. But anyway, I decided to go a little bit matchy-matchy with this. So if you'll notice, you've got sort of the copper toned leopard print and I'm wearing that with a copper tone sweater. This sweater I have had for decades, probably, how old am I? Mm, no, so not decades. I've probably had it for about 15 or 16 years and I got it from a place called CP Shades that is now defunct. It's long since closed as far as I know. Um, and I really love this thing. It is held up so well. I absolutely love this sweater. We'll never get rid of it. So I've got it just kind of loosely over my, of course, favorite Mary Meyer drop crotch pants. And then I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see my boots. I'm wearing these cowboy boot they're not really cowboy boots, but they're definitely heavily inspired by cowboy boots. These are from Franco Sarto. I've had these forever and ever. And these are also kind of in the same colorway as the shirt and the cardigan. So yeah, this is the casual outfit that I would wear for lounging about. The next thing is a shirt that I, it's a blouse that I absolutely love. It is so fabulous. Flowy like that other one from Primark. And it's this white button up shirt and it's, got black stars and dots on it and it's very flowy and it's so nice it's a bit softer than the one from Primark but it's just it, it hangs and flows just as nicely I love it and it's not a stark white it's more like an eggshell I would say I really love it and I like this detail in the back here this I don't know what the sewing term for this would be I wish my friend Stephanie was here with me who's a brilliant seamstress darting is that what that's called? Anyway, I really, I just like that. I think it adds something. And the other thing I really like that I noticed during the try on is that the buttons are hidden. I thought that was really cool. It doesn't bother me when buttons show, but I just liked the fact that the buttons were hidden here. And then on the cuff of the sleeve, the buttons are black. I, I, I just really love this shirt. Fits really nicely. I'm not sure how blown out this is going to be with the lighting, but this is the white shirt from Mango. Absolutely love it. Love the way it flows, love the way it hangs. It's so comfortable. And I wanted to style it in a way such that you could see that it is possible to wear drop crotch pants in a more demure way, should you choose. And this is something that I would maybe wear to the office or to an interview or some such. If I were interviewing somebody, typically in my industry, if you're interviewing, you're in a suit. I really like it. It's really comfortable. The shirt is awesome. I'll come in closer so you can see. It just hangs so nicely. I really, really love it. I love the fact that the buttons are hidden I think that is really nice. Yeah, really love this shirt. And then the last piece, <laughs> I love this thing so much. I love these, these metallic, it's like a paper bag waist, silver metallic pant, look at that. And it ties at the waist. Um, and it's elastic. It looks small, but it's actually it actually fits really nicely. I got this in a medium. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, it's a European medium, and it's a U.S. small. Okay, so it's probably supposed to be a wide, a wide leg pant, but on me, it's fitted. But I like the way it looks on me. I really like this pleating it's really hard to show with all the shimmer but it's not just straight material it's pleated it's easier to tell see that on the inside that it's a pleated material and it's really they're really really long really long you have to wear these with heels or platforms i mean you don't have to but you run the risk of them dragging on the ground unless you get them hemmed but i just love these pants I'm going to wear these dressed up and dressed down, probably mostly dressed down. You will catch me at the grocery store in these pants for sure. Okay, 
I think Yens already know that I love these pants. I, I absolutely love them. They are so comfortable and I love the fact that they're high-waisted, they're metallic, they're pleated. Come on. So I've just got this burgundy spaghetti strap top with pleating in it and I liked the pleat against pleat tucked into these pants. And I'm wearing the satin blazer that I've had for years and years from Kenneth Cole over the whole ensemble. And then I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see, I'm wearing some high heel sandals that I got from Sam Edelman. This is something that I would wear on an evening out, but I'd actually also wear these pants dressed down with like a t-shirt and maybe some platform shoes or something like that. They are pretty long, so if I didn't want them to drag, I'd need to make sure I wore a heel. But uh, yeah, absolutely love these pants. So from Zara, there were three items, three clothing items and a pair of earrings that I got. And the three clothing, item, the three clothing items I picked up, I'd actually eyed on the website, as I mentioned before. I'd eyed them on the, web, the website before, decided to wait, and then they'd sold out. And I looked for them while I was in Vegas and they weren't there. So I just thought I was out of luck. When I went to the Zara in Germany, I found all three items. I couldn't believe it. The first item is a dress that I absolutely love and it does all the print mixing for you. And if you've watched my videos, you know how much I love print mixing. Just wanna adjust this a little bit. And it is this gorgeous wrap dress. It's actually a faux wrap dress, but this part, this part wraps around the chest, but it doesn't wrap around the whole waist. And it has, I love the coloring, black with floral, yellow with floral, and black and white polka dots. It's so beautiful. And that continues all the way down and it's cut asymmetrically and it has these flutter sleeves and here are the belts, the ties. I did try this on and I don't mind showing things that are a little too or a lot too tight for me on here, but my boobs were popping out of this sucker. So it's gonna be a little bit before Actually, I guess I could wear a camisole underneath now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, blast, I didn't think of that. Anyway, well, I will look for a picture online and if I'm not able to find something, then maybe I will try it on with a camisole, but it's such a beautiful dress. I This came out in the summer. I'm surprised this was in the stores. I, I was so excited. I love this dress. Oopsie, I was wrong. Two of the three clothing items I purchased were things that I had my eye on. This one I'd not seen before, but I saw it while I was in store and had to have it. I love it. And it's this shirt. It's this navy blue blouse, kind of flowy blouse with a burgundy racing stripe down the sleeve. It's down both sleeves. Oops, where's the other one? See, right there. And what I love most about it is the pleated neckline and that continues in the cuff. So it's got this pleated cuff here. It's such a great shirt. And I am even, oh, I love this too. I always love a, a ringed zipper pull. There's something very 70s and a bit vintage to me about it. I was excited about this shirt before I tried everything on today. And after I tried it on, I am so in love with it. I love how it hangs. It would look nice loose. It looks nice tucked into things. This looks awesome unzipped, but it also looks awesome zipped up. It's such a beautiful shirt. It's just plain in the back. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love this thing. This shirt makes me feel things, inappropriate things, I'm pretty sure. I love this. Look at it. Right now I have the zipper. I'm not sure how close to come, so I'll kind of do this. Look, right now I have the zipper undone and I just love how it frames my neck. I, this, I, I love this shirt. And then this is what it looks like zipped up. <laughs> Try not to zip myself into it. There you go. I just think it is such a cool shirt, but I really like 
the laid-back vibe of having it unzipped with this outfit, my Mary Meyer pants, my favorite gold boots. It just, it's just an outfit that speaks for itself in my opinion. It's so simple, it's easy, but it's really cool and edgy, totally my vibe. I love it. This is what the sleeves look like with the red racing stripe. I just love it. And I love the cuffs. It's such a beautiful shirt. Ooh, I love it. And then the last clothing item is something I really wanted. I've been watching it for quite a long time. I'd seen quite a few people with it and I t talked to myself into it and out of it because it's a it's tweed and tweed isn't really my jam, but I really liked the cut of this item and I really especially loved its length. And it is this red, or I guess burgundy tweed long line blazer with these pearl and gold buttons. It is so gorgeous. I love this thing. I don't think this thing really buttons, so um, but I wouldn't button it anyway. I would just wear it open. I love this blazer. I love the fringing on the sleeves and on the collar as well. I tried it on in a large and an extra large, and I liked both of them, but I actually prefer the extra large because I wanted this to fit more oversized because I'm probably going to wear this more casually. Oh, I just love it. Look at this. I just love the tweeting. I don't know why I don't think tweeting is my jam because I actually think it's really pretty. I think the thing about tweed jackets is that they're usually cut short and a lot of them are cropped and I just, I don't wear much in the way of cropped jackets anymore, cropped blazers, but this is perfect. I absolutely love this. So this is the blazer and I am so happy that I found this thing. I absolutely love it. I love the length of it. It hits me mid thigh. I'm 5'8". That's pretty long. And I've got the sleeve scrunched up and I'm wearing it over this dress that you've seen many times. It's from Target. And then I'm just wearing some Brooks tennies down below in the same colorway. I don't, I'm not usually matchy matchy. I was feeling matchy matchy during this try on. And then I threw on some big old hoops and put my hair up in a ponytail so that you guys would be picking up on the vibe that I'm putting down. Just a little bit sporty, a little bit fun, taking a piece that's more ladylike and making it a little bit more playful. I'm gonna come up closer so that the light hits it. There we go. I just love it. The color of this blazer blows my hair back. I love it so much. Here is a close up of the tweed and those buttons. I just think this is so pretty. Love it. Finally, the last thing from Zara. Oh, golly, what is wrong with me? These that I'm about to show you, I was eyeing these, the jewelry, the earrings, I was eyeing them and they sold out by the time I finally decided I was going to get them. Good grief. I knew there were three things that I really wanted that I got, any hoodle, and they are these earrings, these gold mesh earrings. I mean, can you even? I love these so much. Actually, I might just pop them on so you can see what they look like on. Okay, so I pulled down my card again because the fur was just covering everything up, but that this is what these look like on. I mean, couldn't you just live and die simultaneously? I mean, honestly, I absolutely love these. Now these are a bit heavy, so these are something that I would wear. Look at that sparkle, oh my gosh, I'm like a magpie, this is amazing. This is something that I would wear to dinner or on a shorter night out. I couldn't wear these all day because I can already tell they're too heavy for my ears. Uh, my ears don't like earrings that are too heavy, but these would be fine for four hours or so, I think. I absolutely love them. I hope I have enough memory for this because I have to show you this cute little thing. So one of the things I love about Christmas in Germany is the little, they just have these really beautiful little wooden structures and toys. It's the whole, it's just so idyllic. And one of the little toys that they have that are very common, at least in, we were in Dresden. It is very common to have these little smoking men. And I saw this little one and I 
had to have it. I thought it was so cute. And it's this little Ertzen, um, little doctor. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, and so what you do, so his mouth is actually a hole. And so you take this off and in this little compartment goes a little cone. This is a small one. I also have bigger ones, but you have this little cone in here and it's a light and you pop this back on and then the smoke, it's like an incense cone and then the smoke comes out of his mouth. It's so cute. Actually, I might light this and show you. I love him. He's so much. And look, he has a thermometer and a syringe and my husband pointed out the fact that I didn't even notice that there was blood on the syringe. <laughs> I was like that makes it even better. I love it. But let me see if I, I'm gonna light the incense cone and show you. Can you see it? See? Oh my god he's so cute. See the smoke coming out of his mouth? I'll put it by my hair. I actually asked if they had a female doctor and the woman was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh, whatever. At least he's cute. I want to name him. He looks like a Fritz to me, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I just love him. He's so cute. So that is it, guys. That is the end of the Germany portion of this haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. There are going to be at least four more videos encompassing encompassing the rest of the items that I got. And there are actually two or three more items that I still don't have. So it actually might be five videos when those come in. Any hoodle, there's more coming. So definitely come back and <laughs> I'm being smoked out. Um, and tune in to see what those items are and just how berserk I went. I think I said in my last video I did that I hope everybody's having a good start to the new year. I still hope that the new year has been good and that the first week or so back at work has been a gentle one. I hope everybody is having a good evening and we will see you in the next one. Peace, Yens.